This is a neural network in action. And this is a neural network learning to play Mario. Because what would happen if you stuck a machine learning algorithm inside of a video game and let it run without any previous knowledge or human intervention? In this experiment, I ran a genetic algorithm over Super Mario World, Sonic, Mega Man, and Mario Kart 64. I also, however, tested a visual reinforcement learning algorithm on the classic game Doom. For the sake of this video, let's call our player George. This is George clearing a basic stage on Super Mario World, but he wasn't always this intelligent. You can see his neural network processing inputs and attempting actions that will get him further along in the level. Progress for George is measured in fitness, with max fitness being his high score for the current level. George's algorithm, originally created by Seth Blings, and using the NEAT algorithm, attempts to mimic a human brain. If a human like you or I were to say, press the letter A to jump, a signal would be sent from their brain to their thumb to accomplish this. We can see George replicating this as he receives input and reacts in real time through his neural network. The same is true for George when he plays other games such as Mario Kart 64, Sonic, and Mega Man. George, however, does not begin his life as a master. Here is what his network looks like when first placed into the game. At the very beginning, George has no knowledge to base his decisions or reactions on. Throughout the evolution of the genetic algorithm, George will have more input from the level and thus achieve a higher fitness score. Throughout his progress, we see generations evolve alongside. Each generation is compiled of the top performing neural networks of the prior, weeding out the bad and breeding in the good. While George's neural network is amazing to watch in real time, implementing a visual reinforcement algorithm for a game such as Doom shows even more of the amazing potential of machine learning. In Doom, we no longer progress through generations, but can actually watch George read his visual environment through the screen buffers and react accordingly. In Doom, George runs off a point-based system, where landing a shot or progressing further adds a point. However, missing a shot or getting hit reduces his points, and dying takes 100 points from George's total score. This encourages him to constantly evolve his strategy while navigating a level. This amazing AI produced by scientists in Poland give us a look at the upcoming capabilities AI can possess, as well as research that has been worked on for years prior.